Welcome to slide 3 2017. This video will demonstrate how to create a 3D model of a dam across the valley. We'll be using the Bishop and Yambu analysis methods for this exercise. We'll begin by opening the starting file. This file contains the cross-sectional profile geometry of a valley, dam, and water table. The coordinates were entered using the draw polyline tool and pasting XYZ coordinate values. Select the valley entity in the visibility pane. Select extrude from the geometry toolbar. In the extrude dialog, we'll select the closed volumes checkbox, enter an XYZ value of 0, 1, 0, and a depth of 225. You may preview at any time. We'll now select the outer dam core and the inner dam core entities. Select extrude. Click the Close Volumes checkbox. Enter an XYZ value of 100 and a depth of 360. We'll now select the groundwater table titled GWT and extrude. Enter an XYZ value of 100 with a depth of 400 and an offset of negative 20. In the visibility pane, select the valley extruded entity and set as external from the geometry tab. We'll now add the dam to the external volume. First, select the inner dam core. Navigate to the geometry tab and click add to external. Next, do the same with the outer dam core. This automatically intersects the dam geometry with the valley geometry and creates a union forming the external boundary. We'll now set the water table as a water surface by selecting the groundwater table entity and navigating to add water surface via the groundwater tab. Click OK when the dialog appears and ensure that the water table has been assigned to all materials. We'll now assign the corresponding materials to each entity. Do this through the Materials toolbar. Select Assign Materials. Note that the outer core has two sections, upstream and downstream, and each must be assigned the outer core material. Navigate to the Slip Surface options from the Surface Toolbar tab. We will use the default settings, ellipsoid, cuckoo search, and surface altering. We are now ready to compute. You will see the program first computing the two analysis methods at once and their corresponding safety factors. Next, it will optimize the ellipsoidal surface to calculate the lowest factor of safety. Select the results workflow tab. Here, we'll be able to see the results of the Bishop and Yambu analysis methods. Select the contour plane YZ. By moving the slider, the contours will indicate the different failure surfaces on that plane and the corresponding factor of safety as seen in the legend. To see where it looked for the surfaces, enable the Show Surfaces option. The Show Surfaces option shows all the surfaces calculated by the Cuckoo Search. Our model is now finished. Thank you for watching our feature video. For more information on civil applications, please click on the top button. To request a free trial for Slide 3, click on the bottom button. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below or contact us through our website.